Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this video, we'll be performing a photo restoration of this old photograph and not just restoration, we'll also be colorizing it and going from this to this. So this is gonna be pretty exciting and I've been trying a lot of different restoration tools out there and a lot of the good ones are simply paid. They don't even allow you to try it for free. The free ones, some of them, produce a lot of different artifacts in the shot or they sharpen the shot too much which doesn't really look good. I think out of the 15 odd free tools that I tried this one was the best but I still could not find a tool which could do both and still remain free so we'll be using another tool after we've performed the restoration to colorize the photo also. So this particular for the first step this website is going to be used which is called photorestore.io. So let's get started I've given you the link to all the tools that we'll be using inside uh, this particular tutorial. You also got the image so that link also is given in the description of the video so let's get started first of all once you go here you'll simply upload the image or you can hit restore photos first okay make sure this is selected here and then upload the image and the moment you do that it's automatically going to start the restoration process so let's just wait for this all right so that just barely took like 10 to 15 seconds and you can see that this has done the job in a very nice manner we don't have any sort of artifacts we don't have anything that has been changed too much and overall i think this just looks really really nice and clear however i did try their colorize photo tool also but it just didn't do a very good job so then i had to find another free ai tool that could colorize this in a realistic way that's where i found the next tool uh, which is not fully free but this is one of those freemium tools where once you do create your free account uh, you'll find some icon here to do that and then you're going to get four credits per day so they re replenish every 24 hours and for each generation is going to cost one credit so you can use it four times later on I have some um, I'm, I'm going to be making some other videos regarding these tools because I've been very impressed with the other tools also but for right now we're going to use face mech, mex I hope that is how it's pronounced face mex color uh, restorer so let's hit this and again this is where we're going to upload the image that we had just generated so let's do that all right, so I've just uploaded the image and just like the other tool, this also immediately starts the process. And once it uploads, you're gonna just hit this button that says generate, it's gonna cost you one credit and takes around 15 to 20 seconds for it to colorize it. So let's wait for this. All right, and you can see that it has given out the result, which looks really nice and natural. I tried a lot of different colorizing tools also, and this one just gave the most natural results. I'll just be showing you one more tool, which is also free, and in some of the images, even that tool did a good job. But for right now, we're just gonna save this image. And now for the final touch, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up this image inside Photoshop and just use camera or raw filter with just a single click just to improve the shot. So let's also do that. All right, so we've got our image here. We're gonna open up camera raw filter. This step can be done in any editing tool, by the way. We're just basically using the normal editing functions like this. I'm not even gonna do anything manually. I can just hit auto. It's gonna figure out and it's just gonna improve the lighting and the color a bit. Finally, let us let me save this shot and let's now look at all the four shots side by side. So on the leftmost is what we started off with. The second one is after the restoration. The third one is after colorizing it and finally, just by a single click in Photoshop, we've got our final result. Now the final step here will be that because we used FaceMax AI also to colorize the photo, it does downscale the image when you save it. So we're just gonna use upscale media AI to upscale it for free. So let's increase the size up to four times. So I'm just gonna upload the final output here. Right now it's by default, it's upscaled it to twice the size. We're just gonna make this 4X and let's just wait for this. All right, and you can see that, if you see the difference between the both, the resolutions this much this one looks much better let's quickly download this image and this is the final comparison this is what we started off with and finally we have arrived at this which is a huge change using free ai tools now like i mentioned sometimes there's another tool which you can use for colorizing which uh, on some images can work better so you've got two tools basically with you, you can try out which one works better for which particular photograph. So this is another one from deepai.io. 
uh, org and I'll, i've given the link again in the description for this and it works the same way you just upload the image and you see the final result so maybe here you for on face max you've run out of credits or maybe you were not happy with the result then i've usually seen this one does a better job here's another example of how i turned this image into the final result using that same method but this time for colorizing i used deep ai all right, so I hope that you like this tutorial. In case you did, give it a like. I'm someone who's doing a lot of experiments with AI tools, both free as well as paid, which can help photographers do their job in a quicker manner and in an easier manner. So if you want to follow these experiments, do subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.